Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top handbag designers and trends of 2018. So I feel like this is gonna be a really jam-packed and fun video if you like handbags like myself. I love watching these videos, so I wanted to do one. I did one for 2017 and it seemed like it was kind of a hit, so I wanted to go ahead and do it for 2018 as well. So I'm not going to spend too much time on each designer, but I am going to throw in so much eye candy for you guys and then I'm also going to end with just some overall trends that we're gonna be seeing a lot of in 2018 I hope you guys are ready for this video if you like this kind of stuff then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel I make lots of these kind of videos along with style and fashion and yeah I would just love to have you back Mwah. I know you guys just want me to get into the bags and I totally will in just like one little second but I just wanted to say that Miranda Fry released her spring collection you guys know I love her stuff so much oh my gosh like I'm just loving the new pieces this I believe is called the Melissa necklace I have no idea what this is I will link everything down below but I have a, a matching bracelet too and I just I'm gonna pair this with some of my new um, designer bracelets that I got oh and then here are these beautiful like little teeny hoop earrings but um, they actually come with uh, little pendants and you can actually take off the pendants and like wear them on necklaces but I just have little crosses on them right now and oh they just look so pretty anyway I have a discount code you do save 10% um, it's just Shay I love her jewelry and I'm loving her new line and I hate to say this but there's a little surprise coming down the line in like a month or so so never thought I'd be a youtuber to say that <laughs> Let's get into this video and I'm going to start off with the very first designer and again I led with this one the last time I'm going to lead with it again They're not disappointing They keep coming out with designs that are fantastic and you can probably guess what I'm gonna say and it is drum roll please Gucci. They are leading the way with trends and they're just not going away. So they kind of started the trend with the belt bags. That is blowing up. I mean, so many designer houses now are coming out with their own designs of the belt bags. The Marmont bags aren't going away either. You know, the big GG Marmont bags. I held back on getting those bags for so long because I was like, it's just a trend. It's just, I'm just going to go out next year. I'm not going to like it. I'm going to regret it. And no, it is still here and strong and I have been loving it and so has everybody else. Another trend that I really see taking off and again, I do think it is because of Gucci and that would be the drawstring backpacks. And I honestly kind of, I don't know this, this is purely my kind of opinion, but I feel like that kind of came about because in 2017, backpacks really kind of blew up and then also the bucket bags backpacks and bucket bags really grew in popularity in 2017 and if you think about it drawstring backpacks are kind of like a morphed version of both of those things and Gucci has some really awesome designs with their drawstring backpacks and I actually really really like them I don't really think I'll get one but I have been loving them and they're definitely pretty big and then finally for Gucci I mean I could go on and on and on about Gucci but they're velvet bags. Velvet this year, it was kind of big last year, but again, it is so big for 2018. And I'm happy to tell you that I did jump on that bandwagon and I am so happy that I did. I love this Gucci Marmont velvet bag. It is the prettiest, prettiest bag that I own. That's a strong statement, but I don't know. I, it might be true. I'm not really sure. I just love this so much and yeah I just kind of went back and forth thinking like why the heck would I ever buy a purple bag but this is probably one of the best purchases I have made anyway yeah let's just move on from the velvet bag I know I've talked about this a lot all right so like I said I'm gonna be pretty quick with each designer because I have a lot to cover the next designer that I want to talk about is Loewe I think that's how you say it I don't even know, but it's the puzzle bag. If you guys are interested in luxury and designer handbags, then you're probably somewhat familiar with the Loewe puzzle bag. It's kind of different than a lot of the other bags that I'm going to talk about. It is very kind of subtle. It doesn't have a lot of logos going on. It's an all leather bag. It has some like asymmetrical, like geometrical designs going on and it is just very, very versatile. It's very comfortable. It's just a very well-made bag. If you want a more understated look, then that bag would definitely be one to consider this year. All right, so now that we got understated out of the way, now we're gonna move to the complete opposite side of the spectrum. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into Fendi. Fendi is just going logo crazy. So I would 
say there are kind of two series of bags that are really, really popular for this year. The first one I would actually say is the Con series. Again, I hope I'm not butchering that name, but it is a bag that kind of displays the F for Fendi very, very prominently on the front. And there's a lot of other bags in that series that actually have the F logo kind of just all over it. People have been loving it and I really, really see it growing even more. I could see it actually being one of their staple pieces for this year. But with that said, the Fendi Peekaboo is still extremely big. And I actually bought one last year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let me just show it to you. Here is my stunning Fendi Peekaboo in the Celeria leather, and it does have the brown interior. This is in the regular size. It does come in a larger size, and it also comes in a mini size and a micro, which is like ultra, ultra, like little baby doll small. I would say in the last year or so, and even this upcoming year, it's just on so many more people's radar, people's minds, people are loving this bag and I totally agree. It is such an amazing everyday bag and I just love, love, love the combination that I chose. All right, so since we're talking about logos, we are going to move on to Prada. Prada seemed to kind of take a break there for a few years a while back. They weren't really being purchased as much. They weren't really, you know, people weren't talking about them nearly as much as they are this year. They recently released at least there care bags, <laughs> but it is a very prominent logo bag and it is very square. It has a lot of structure to it and it very obviously says Prada right on the front of it. I've been seeing this bag in so many different color combinations, different sizes, and it is just such a stunning bag and so many people have been loving it, including myself. Again, it comes in a lot of leathers, it comes in a lot of color combinations, it comes in velvet, there's just so many choices for this particular bag and I think it's because it is such a popular bag now, it's gaining more and more popularity that they are releasing it in so many different color combinations and variations. So if you are a logo person, I highly suggest you maybe check out Fendi, Prada, and then we're gonna go on to the classic Louis Vuitton. So the reason that I wanted to transition to Louis Vuitton from Prada is because Prada's bag, the, the care bag, is very much like the Louis Vuitton bag that is super, super trending with them right now, and that would be the Petite Mall. And it's kind of like their trunk bag. It kind of exemplifies the trunks that kind of originated with Louis Vuitton many, many, many decades ago. And it is such a, it's just such a pretty bag. And and it's very, very similar to the Prada bag that I just talked about. It's very square, it's very structured, and again, it just screams Louis Vuitton with the monogram logos. Alrighty, so we're gonna move on to Dior. And this was a designer that I also included in last year's video. And I was saying how it's just, it's, it's growing like crazy. It, it, again, kind of was taking a little break. It really wasn't kind of one of the ones that a lot of people were talking about that much for a few years. And in the last couple years, it's just been steadily rising and it's not slowing down. It, they're kind of like Gucci. I feel like Gucci just took a huge leap and I think Dior took another huge leap as well. The Lady Dior is just such a classic, iconic bag. It, you know, it was released many years ago for Princess Diana. There's that whole legacy kind of thing going on there that it has a lot of history, but it has now kind of taken a turn back around and people are loving it, including myself. That is definitely the bag. If I were to pick a bag next to buy, it would probably be that one. I'm just not sold on the combination, like color combinations yet, but regardless, people are loving it. There is the classic size. I do think that is the most popular one. And then again, the mini size, it is more of a crossbody. So there's a lot of different sizing options, a lot of different color options, but it is such an iconic bag and I couldn't be more happy that it is still trending for 2018. Now going along with Dior though, there are several other bags in their collection that I think is, you know, really gaining popularity. And one would be their saddle bag. And again, with the logos, the logos just splashed all over it. It is a much older, older bag, it was an older design, and now they're bringing it back for this year. People are just eating it up and loving it like crazy. So those are two vintage icon bags 
that are you know really huge for this year. So that leads me into the next designer that I wanna talk about, and that would be Chanel. And I wanted to transition to that one, again, because of vintage. We're talking about vintage, and I would really say that you know Chanel I feel like will always be in style no matter what. I mean, really, I just don't think Chanel is going to go out of style, but I think for this year, what's really, really trending is their vintage bags. I think the popular thing to do, rather than going out and buying a brand new Chanel bag, I mean, people are definitely gonna, still gonna be doing that, but I think the big thing now is to actually buy a Chanel bag pre-loved that is vintage that you don't see everybody carrying and that be you know the trending thing like the hot ticket item is a vintage Chanel bag some people have a thing against buying pre-loved bags but I think it's an awesome awesome way to get your hands on a really beautiful bag and save a lot of money so if that's something that you have been kind of pondering and considering I highly suggest you look into it it's such a fun process you don't obviously get instant gratification because you kind of have to dig but when you find one you absolutely love just pull the trigger but what's awesome is is not only when the popularity of having a vintage Chanel bag goes away, it's still going to be a vintage Chanel bag and that's still in style no matter what. Another Chanel bag that I wanted to talk about for 2018 is a brand new Chanel bag. It's the Gabriel bag and it's actually, I feel like a lot of people kind of have mixed feelings about it. It definitely again has a very vintage vibe to it, but it is a new line for Chanel and the last time they kind of came out with something like this, it was the Chanel boy bag and look how crazy that went. I mean, that is just now become kind of like an icon. So I don't really know if the Gabriel bag is going to turn into that. I do think the bag is a very comfortable, a very easy bag to wear. Um, but again, it's kind of coming in with mixed feelings. Some people are loving it, some people aren't, but it is definitely something to look out for in 2018. All right, so we're gonna move on to Chloe. And I am kind of excited because I have something to show you for this category because I recently got a bag. It was a total shocker and a total surprise but it was the Chloe Nile bag. Let me just show it to you. Saddlebags in general are pretty darn trendy for 2018, but this one in particular is just so beautiful and I am so pleased with it and I love every time I wear it. I haven't even worn it that much just because I do think it's more of a spring slash summer bag and it is still winter here. Um, but again, I'm so excited to wear this in 2018. I do think it will sustain its popularity into 2019. I don't know long-term how, you know, well it's gonna go, but it is definitely a trending and popular bag and I absolutely love it. Going along with saddlebags though, I also want to mention round or circular bags. That is just huge right now and I'm seeing so many designers and even like more affordable options out there. I mean, it's just crazy. I'm not really sure if Chloe kind of led the way with this, but they do have a round or circular bag. It's the Chloe Pixie bag. And just the shape and kind of overall aesthetic of this bag is just blowing up on social media. I'm just seeing this kind of a bag everywhere. I'm just seeing it done in so many different ways. And I know that kind of is the way with almost every bag out there. It's kind of replicated one way or another, but I would say the circular or the round bags are, are even more so. I just It's just crazy how many I'm seeing out there. All right, so I am kind of done with the main overall fashion designers. There are so many more I could talk about. I mean, Balenciaga, Burberry, Valentino. I mean, there are a lot of designers out there kind of like paving the way four awesome, awesome handbag designs. But I still have two more fashion trends when it comes to handbags that you're gonna wanna look out for for 2018. The first being fringe bags. Now in my 2018 wearable fashion trends video, I did talk about the fringe. And it is for sure carrying over to the bags. Prada, JW Anderson, Fendi, Balenciaga, Burberry, Alexander Wang. I mean, they have beautiful, fringe handbag designs. Now that is very, very trendy. I feel like that is a trend that it could be awesome this year, but next year it could be a total flop. I, again, I'm no expert. I don't know. I can't predict the future, but even though I love this trend, this is probably a trend I'm not going to buy. If I were to buy a bag like this, I would probably go a more affordable option just because I don't see it being super in style long-term, even though the fringe is definitely something that continually comes back just like a lot of trends. It just has this reoccurring thing. It comes back in and out 
all the time. And then finally, the last huge trend that I wanna talk about is one that people either love it or they despise it. And what it is, is the clear bag or the transparent bag or the plexi bag, whatever you wanna call it. it basically, it's a bag that you can totally see through it. It's usually made of plastic and all of your belongings are pretty much there for everyone to see. There's a Valentino bag out there. It's kind of like a rock stud bag, but it is very clear. I believe it is called their Valentino rock stud plexi bag. It is a very beautiful bag, believe it or not. Like I really do like it, I, I won't buy it, but it is definitely shown that clear transparent trend Chanel has a brand new spring and summer collection if you even just go onto their website and start scrolling through all of their brand new spring and summer bags and and accessories you would be shocked at how many are are clear transparent bags there's backpacks there's actual classic flaps there's totes there's shoulder bags I mean you name it with whatever style out there that they usually carry and they have a version of it that is clear or transparent so with all of that said, that does it for my top handbag designers and trends for 2018. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration and if nothing else, just some lovely eye candy for you guys to look at because you know, if you're anything like me, I just love looking at new possibilities and new opportunities when it comes to buying a handbag. That sounds so cheesy and so dumb, but how many people can raise their hand and agree with me? Okay. I'm not alone. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I have lots of videos coming up and I would love to have you back. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.